Hello everyone, Alaska here, and I have a light language video for you. As you can see, it's pretty late. I already have my little blanket. I have my pajamas on. Um, I've been meditating, and I was called to make this video. Now, um, I haven't been able to connect that well while meditating. Um, I can get all the way to where I put um, my cord up through source and I wrap around guys with the heart and I make a pillar of light and that, um, that pillar will change colors but it's been getting to where I get to the pillar and then I start meditating and it's just like okay what now like there's like that connection to go on and to like really be able to concentrate and get into it is just not there and I get very easily distracted and frustrated and then I just stop so that's kind of been different. Um, when I did connect to Source and to Gaia, I did get um, a very pale pink color. Um, it first came when I connected to Source, and um, usually sometimes colors don't come when I do that, but it did this time. And then when I brought um, Source energy through me, then took my cord down and wrapped around Gaia's crystal heart, um, it was also pink as well. Now, um, I want to talk about a few different things that have happened over the last, um, probably week. The first thing I want to talk about is time because time has been extremely off for me lately. And, um, just things about time in general. Um, if you've been getting a foggy sensation, like you're really kind of out of it, tired, fatigue. There's been two cases this last week and um, I've only talked to my husband about it and to Ryan and it's a little odd. I'm not really sure what's up with it. Um, Ryan kind of explained it really well on what he believes is um, happening and it made complete sense but I want to mention it in case anybody else has gone through this within the last week. Now um now my kids get home at a certain time every day and they ride the bus home so I usually wait outside for them and um, the bus will drive up at almost the same time every day. The other day, um, I was waiting on an Amazon package and I get uh, an alert on my phone saying, your package is 10 stops away. So I'm able to sit there and track it. So I start doing that and I realize it's got one stop left and I look out my window and there's the Amazon truck across the street kind of diagonal. So I'm sitting there watching it and I'm looking at my watch because I know come the same time every day, um, my kid's bus is gonna come up and it has my daughter's birthday presents in it. So I, I'm like, please hurry, please hurry. And I'm watching the guy in the truck and he drops off the package, he gets back at his truck and he sits there. And my daughter gets home and my, my son and my daughter, their bus comes about 3.05, like clockwork, almost every day. So it's 2.59 and I'm pacing and I stand at my front door and I'm looking out the glass little oval thing um, for this Amazon truck to hurry up and, and come. And at 3.02, I walk to the porch because I'm thinking there's no way. But he does show up, he comes by 3.03, .03, I'm racing to my room I put the packages on my bed and I look at my watch to run back outside and it's like 2.51 and I'm, I'm scratching my head and I'm like, wait a minute, like I can distinctly remember whenever he was walking away, I could hear the bus like on the street behind us in the back, I could hear it lightly going. And I kind of didn't know what in the world was happening. So I kind of walk out and stand on my front porch and I wait. Now, I think a day passes and then another day comes. 
and I, I kid you not, almost the same thing. I'm not waiting on a package, but I look at my watch. I'm watching. It's three o'clock. I walk to my front porch. I stand on my front porch and I feel like I'm standing there forever. And I'm like, what the world? So I look at my watch and it's like 2.51, 2.52. Like I, I'm losing time. This happened twice. It hasn't happened since, but I want to put this out there in case if anybody else is happening to. Um, I do not believe that I read my watch wrong. I not, especially not two days in a row. Um, and it wasn't a row, a day passed in between, but I don't believe that that was the case. I do not know what happens. All I know is I'm missing time. So if this has happened to you, I would love to hear it into the, in the comments. Um, anything similar, if you've been foggy, fatigued, um, if you've been taking naps, like more than usual. Um, I kind of feel like this light language is different. And it reminds me of Ryan. I, I believe the last week he's been having, um, it's where the, the language, just talking in general is almost hard to do. And I'm, I'm kind of really picking that up right now with the light language. Usually it flows super good for me. Um, I never have any issues with it, but I feel like my mouth is just kind of, my tongue stumbling all over itself. And I don't know and I do kind of feel some pressure in my throat right here. Okay, and I am getting something with time. I just see the word time. Um, and I just seen a yellow rose. And with the yellow rose, I, am, I did see a sunflower ex like right after that. And that's usually Christ consciousness for me. Um, the yellow rose is kind of new. I'm waiting to know the mouth of what to do yet to get the air taste. Jutuku avan, Jutuku se esta, stukut or taste, Jutuki atrote. Yeah, I'm getting something with um, speech or the throat or something along this line. Jutuku to the air tin, the katia to get to the cato, the kata, yes, the kiata, Jutuku te de tikatia to get to. And when I start repeating this, it's really kind of locking stuff into place. It's making adjustments. Like I'm like, I feel like a line. I want to say a line. And I went again to just my, my mouth was kind of all over itself. And 
Jete esta, asta, I'm getting something with the third eye, but the katiara, the etikatoto, otakatoto, jete is the astikoto, otata, but the katiata, jetakoto, the erate, etikata, yatakat, orate, and the kate, jde, jda, jetakoto, but the katiatakata, and ya, ya, otakate, jde geti arate, estikatote, jde is the esta, estikato, otata, but the katiatakato, oto, jdana, jde oste, jetakiti, etikato, ote. Estesta, jdesta, jutukujdesta, amati, itikti, etikato. I almost want to say it's kind of like serious coming through, but I can't get like a, a for sure confirmation for myself. Jutukuto, ovatikati, etikata, donde. And it, it's so different. I feel like I know my light language pretty well, and when Things start switching up. I can I can feel it. I can hear it. I can sense it, and it's different. I want to do this. But not like Spider Man. Okay, I did see, I thought I got a, a flash of Middle Earth, Inner Earth, I want to do this with the stone and I don't know why, I want to just kind of I feel like a lot of a lot of things are opening up right now. A lot of people are getting activations. A lot of people are getting downloads. Um, I think it has to do with the fatigue and the um, exhaustion that a lot of us are feeling. And I saw a snake, um, could be Kundalini, but the Gatiara is the Gatiatakatan. Jutukotu, Vatagatian is the Esta. Este is the Esta, Dukutu, Vatate, Eta, Gatiatakat, Otakate. Antakatu, Otakatu, Otakat, Ayatakat, Ortaya, Donda, Vanta is the Esta, eh. Yet the Gatiatakat, Otakatu, O. I do see a snake. I'm, I'm looking at it. It very much looks like a, like a cobra. It's got the... It's black. And I'm getting the upside down. Pyramid of a ticket right over the chest of a ticket yesta and Jutukotos de e yatikate, a ticket yatikato, otakata yatikato, and what the kitty and the katasta is do, is de, is the kiesta, is de, a vatakati yatakato rote at katanda is the asta. Okay.
I'm getting like a line from the heart up through the throat to the third eye. It's kind of like a, a line of a connection. But I have had a lot of tingling in my crown the last probably two to three days. So maybe you felt that too. And I really feel like I'm kind of pulling that from the heart up through the throat, third eye, and up through the crown. Clearing any blocks that may be from here to here. Um, I've also been getting a lot with the um, solar plexus. I went from watermelon, massive amounts of watermelon, to, um, I really didn't go, I went with for orange, orange and cheese. I have been having massive orange and cheese, and now, I don't know, I've really felt something like we're starting to move into the, the solar plexus, um, bananas, I eat those every day though, but it's definitely, I even had a dream, um, with my daughter's eyes changing, it was from orange to yellow, and it was a sign in a dream that we were moving up from, or I was anyway, moving up from the sacral up to the solar. Um, I felt it was more collective though, and not necessarily just me. There's something going on with it. I think that might be a little it. I keep getting this. I keep wanting to do this to pull up. I can almost now that I I think about it, can feel it more at the solar plexus, kind of coming up from the heart. It's definitely from the heart up. I know that for sure. I feel like it's kind of like clearing out any blocks from there to help with this up. I get the up motion. So um, I think I'm going to be bringing in more codes tomorrow. I feel like this is not done. And we're kind of already pushing on almost 20 minutes. So I'm going to stop it here um, while we're kind of at a stopping point And I'm going to bring through more if more come in tomorrow. Kind of like this for like last words, like anything last minute that we want through. Okay. Much love and many blessings, and thank you for watching, and thank you for returning. If you're returning, um, feel free to subscribe, like, comment, and have a wonderful day and night.